Howdy everyone, uh, just a little video on a battery health test and um, I thought I'd just do a little one on YouTube to let everyone know how I completed it. Uh, my vehicle has done over 256,835 kilometers. This vehicle is a Model 3 Standard Range Plus from uh, Shanghai, China and it does contain the LFP batteries in this particular pack. Um, over the life of me driving this vehicle, um, there's been several supercharging sessions, there's been several DC fast chargers, and they'll, they'll range between 125 kilowatt, 75 kilowatt, or even 50 kilowatt um, charging sites. Um, the range on my battery has always um, been, at the beginning, uh, 424 kilometers, and as time has gone on and there's charging cycles completed, um, I definitely would have expected um, some small amount of um, degradation on the battery pack. So currently at the moment, um, a full charge is reporting 398 kilometers, which is fantastic because ideally for the type of work that I'm using the vehicle, I'll generally do a few hours in the morning. Um, I might have done close to about 200 kilometers, sometimes even less. Depends how slow traffic is here in Brisbane. Um, the battery might be sitting at about 60%, it might be sitting at 40%, it just depends on how many extra kilometers that I do. Um, realistically, if I'm going to push the limit and get the car down to a, you know, a point where I'm arriving at a fast charger with about 5%, I may have completed, uh, driven close to about 340 or 355 kilometers. Now, I know that I told you that the vehicle would report back 398 kilometers, but there's always going to be variables to achieve 398 kilometers. There's got to be ambient temperature outside um, at, at the right conditions, uh, the roads that you're driving, we're looking at elevation, inclines, declines. Are you doing a lot of highway driving? So that's why you're going to have mixed, mixed results. So... The, the vehicle has been used um, exactly how I intended to, do, to be. Um, the whole purpose of me making the, the group on Facebook um, and also even just this channel that you're watching here is just to give new owners some ideas and perspectives on what they may uh, see on their vehicles over their ownership. Now, you know, for someone to do the amount of kilometers that I've done in, in my car, that might take you 10 years, okay? So Tesla's battery warranty, if you look on the stats on it, uh, I believe um, off the top of my head, it, it's 185,000 kilometers or eight years, and you've got your 80,000 kilometer limited warranty, um, which I think is eight years as well. Um, so, you know, those that are worrying about having a car, some owners have their cars for five years, and they maybe at the time of five years and they're, they're selling it or they're trading it in, their vehicle might only have, um, you know, 60,000 kilometers on it. It might even have less. So, you know, hopefully this video gives you some inspiration as to, um, you know, what, to, what can you expect out of these um, LFP battery packs that Tesla are putting, putting into their standard range, um, their normal rear, it's called now rear wheel drive, so if, if you're looking on buying a, a Tesla today, um, yep, rear wheel drive will come with the LFP batteries. The long range versions and the performance versions will have different battery chemistry and that's required to put more density into the battery packs, um, which ultimately results in more uh, kilometers that you're able to do on a single charge. Okay, so different battery chemistry, different results. Um, I'm not aware of very like high mileage drivers that have those different models and how they're experiencing um, small amount of battery degradation um, on their cars. So with further ado, I'll go over and I'll just show you what, what's on my screen at the moment. So you can see on here, uh, we've got the service menu open at the moment. I've just completed the battery health test it started at about 7 o'clock last night, and by about 10, 10 o'clock this morning, it was completed. So, we've got here at the top, 
charge limit is 398 kilometers, which is fantastic. You can see there I've added an additional 375. Um, I started the charging rate at 5%, so there was equivalent to around 20 kilometers left in the battery pack. Um, in this service menu, it would recommend that you start the charging session uh, at approximately anything below 20%. So if you want to start it at 20%, that's fine. Let it do its thing. Um, based on what I was looking at on my um, usage patterns for the charging session, it told me that while I started the, the health test at 7 o'clock, nothing really happened until 11.30 that night. So it must be doing stuff in the background to calculate um, battery cells and whatnot. So there, there you go, you can see there I've got 92% health measured zero days ago. Um, the car's currently got a state of charge of 99.8%, and that's where we're seeing a 397 kilometers full charge, and 398 kilometers is the limit. Now, sometimes I see it get up to 399, uh, and occasionally in the blue moon it might jump back up to 400, but um, it, it's happy. So... Now, what I will show you here is, if you do get into this menu, um, to get into it, let, let's start. We'll, we'll get out first. So, we're out of the menu at the moment. Go down here. Click on service. Sorry, click on software. Hold down on model 3. Type in service. Click OK. Now it's saying um, service mode should only be applied by service personnel to service or repair a stationary vehicle. Are you sure you want to enable service mode? Now, if you're not comfortable doing any of this, you don't need to do this, okay? You're, you're more than welcome to ask Tesla. This is more, I guess, if you're wanting to do something like this yourself and you trust yourself, um, sure, by all means, you can go ahead and do it. It is your vehicle. You can do as you like with it. If you don't want to touch anything further, just stop from here. If you're curious, keep watching. Okay, so do not enable service mode on public roads unless there is a maintenance requirement to do so. Okay, we're going to go enable. So now you get this big red bar that's all around the thing there. You can see at the bottom there, um, it shows the VIN number. The gateway is currently locked and the vehicle is speed limited. The alerts to check on this particular vehicle, one is about the middle rear seat belt buckle. Um, the buckle works, but the electronic cable that goes to it that detects if there's a passenger sitting in the middle um, has been uh, removed because I found that a lot of passengers would just be leaning in the middle center seat uh, and constantly setting off the trigger. So I just removed that for now. Uh, it's nothing bad. Um, doesn't affect the integrity of the car. That's just what I've done. The other fault, and I can even show you here, service alerts. So that's the one for the buckle faulted rear condition. Yep. So if I want to, if I want to re-enable it, it's a simple just reconnect the cables and the car will be happy. The other one, I'm not 100% completely sure what that's about. Um, so. This one seems to come and go, but it's never really done anything to the vehicle. So I've seen other owners um, that have aftermarket taillights, and they've got heaps of alerts on their system <laughs> because the, the Tesla will look at voltage on those rear taillights, and it will just go, yep, there's a fault on the left right, uh, on the left um, rear uh, brake light, but it's probably working perfectly fine. The vehicle is just confused. Okay. So we're going to get out of those. We're going to go over here to high voltage battery and we're going to click on high voltage system. Uh, and that's where it's going to bring you to this um, screen on here. Now, because I only just did the test over the last you know, few minutes and it's completed, it will not let you run another health test. So if you're looking on this screen now, um, you'll have a button down here that will say health test. You can click on that and it will say in order for you to run the health test, you need to unlock the gateway on the vehicle. And to do that, you're going to have to put uh, one foot on the brake, uh, flick up on your indicator. I believe it's left or right. It will give you the instructions on the screen at the time. 
and uh, wait the 15 seconds, and then it will unlock the gateway. Um, when I run the test, I'm always like, is it working? It, I wish Tesla had a progress bar on this, but it doesn't. So you're left in the lurch, and you don't know if it's actually working or not. Um, so what I found is that I started it at 7, and then I was back in the car at about you know, 9 o'clock, getting in here going, nothing's happened. So I was like, all right, shut the door, leave it, wake up in the morning. I got back into the car at about 8 o'clock, and uh, it told me, you know, battery health was 91%, and it was completed 119 days ago. I was like, great. So nothing happened. Uh, I left it a little bit longer, and then by about 10 o'clock, that's when I um, started having the figures updated. So moral of the story is if you're doing battery health test, um, just let it do its thing. It does take a while to complete everything. It's doing little tests in the background. We don't know. Um, and eventually you'll get the results there. So hope this video was a, an easy one. Um, yeah, nothing else that I can really explain on this, but yeah, we got 92% uh, health battery uh, on this vehicle with 256,835 kilometers. Apart from that, thanks for watching.